Hey, what's going on guys? Dark Inspiration 11 here, and today I have a bit of a redstone tutorial for you guys. Uh, a piston door on a slope, a two white piston door on a slope, which is very well hidden and it's very neatly conceived by me. So this can be used as a, as an outside door or an inside door. If you know what I mean when I say inside door, you can be used as a, a door to your secret super mega huge diamond stash or other stuff like your enchanting room or other potion room or whatever. And you, I made a butt switch here, which is basically it detects when a block updates and then. It sends a pulse to a T flip flop, which changes this. But this is actually a T butt, and inside I have a button which is hooked to a T flip flop, which opens and closes the door if you want to go in or go out. And they both work independently, so they do with each other. So, yeah, this door is based, was based on. Etho blocks block pusher, or the 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 block that the block pusher that he used on his series on his LP to make the holes for his the water on his EMP units. If you know what I mean, I I will link a video of those of the video which is which he makes the point of it but I couldn't find it so yeah whatever forget what I said so this is very compact this this was actually mentioned to Ido then he and he said it but well moving on it's very simple and this must be it at least to take delay that's why he didn't retract. So let's get started building because the day is short and I'm on take 35 over here. So first of all, locate where your your two center blocks. This these blocks will power the piston which is going to go up and mine up front and behind it. So uh, at front, you dig more two and diagonal, not this one, and diagonal this one, this one, this, this hole, this hole, and this hole will have repeaters. So, and up front, you dig more two down, so we have a three, a three, three deep drop, and up front. You don't dig two, and in the end, if you dig these two, because you need space for the resin wiring, you'll have a uh, angel-like hole, and we're going to start working with it. So, first of all, let's make the block pusher. So, two, three pistons. All of the sticky pistons used here are. Are sticky, yes. I said sticky pistons twice, but yeah, just put them right like this. Just put them like this, and put whatever the block you're using on them. Now more uh, over here, over down here, two more, and two more. All of them facing up, and you can put, you can put the the block. Over top. Yes, this is correct. I was checking because it did something. Okay, now repeaters. These two at four ticks each, four ticks, and these ones at two ticks each. Two tick. Whoops, two ticks each, and redstone here and there. Now link these two redstone. You can actually go down. Three blocks or the oh sorry 
I'm Portuguese. I use the Portuguese expression, which means so. Okay, three blocks. Oh, one, two, three. Must be good. Let's see if I find the piston. Oh, darn. Oh, darn. Okay, there is the piston. Okay, and yeah, what? Yes, I didn't put blocks over here. And this needs to be a lower one in order to we power the these pistons. I wonder why this is like this. I don't I don't recall this. Oh, I know why. Sorry, I forgot. I I had destroyed that this here over here and this block. Okay, now it's much better. Extend the wire. Two blocks here. Carve out a bit more space. You need I don't know. Uh, a bit more space because we're going to use repeaters. Extend the wire. Repeater here. Over here. Add one tick. This tick will be the the opening tick, which is going to open these these pistons. Also, in a sec, note uh, one tick and comes down, and we're going to link this this repeater to uh, inverter which is going to keep whoops, the the current steady and this when the door is open the pistons will be up and we can pass and we can go through it without having a huge hole on our way and if you wonder why are the why all the all slabs is because I and I couldn't find a way to put the repeaters in our position, so I use half slabs in order to make it. So yeah, now this this repeater will send a pulse, which is going to invert this current, but it will only work if we do it to open it to close it. To close it, we need it uh, to extend the the pulse more, and for that we're going to make more room because I I have a shortage of it, and we're going to put two more repeaters, four ticks and three ticks, and power and run the wire to the main wire. This is the main wire. And these these repeaters will going to make the door make the pulse last long enough so when it closes when it opens or it closes. I don't know. I I could I can't recall. But this is going to make the pulse last longer and if these weren't here we're going to we we would we would have uh I'm not good with words today. I'm sorry. They won't go out, come out, uh, and it's very hot. It's summer. Oh well. Thank you, Mr. Obvious. We're on summer summer vacations. Yeah, I'm very hot, all sweaty. Doesn't care. Don't care. So this is this wire controls these pistons, these three pistons, and these two pistons, but now we need, a, we need to control these two pistons. And how do we make it? With this. We just make a very long line of redstone over to the other side. Just hurry, let me see. Okay, over here. And this will power too far. Uh, and up. Think better this way. Don't know over here. So 
I also I always make a lot of mess when I'm working with redstone and so when I try to some of this may be a bit messy so but it's all functional so repeaters to power these pistons uh, one tick each and then we just have to link uh, yes, I have to link this. I link this. I don't know if I can put rest on here. Sorry. I have all my, all my doubts. I'm no master. I'm just uh, a guy which likes messing with redstone. Repeater here, so we have enough pulse. And it's it's getting dark. And I don't like dark, even though I'm peaceful, but when it's dark, no one can see nothing, and then cover, no one can see nothing, and I get lots of messages about that, uh, but, okay, no I don't, I'm lying, I'm a liar, I only had one Minecraft video, and it was recorded on my laptop, and was as laggy as hell, but no one commented on that, e yes. So, over here we don't put a block, because it's going to be covered by the wall, and it's, it's very functional now. If we, if we grab the wire from here, I think this, I hope you can grab it from here, no problem. If we use a lever, you'll see that it opens. And why isn't that working? What the heck? Oh, answers. Answers. I forgot to the vertex on this. And now, works like a charm. Front view. This is how it looks from the front. Obviously, you would like to cover cover the this so no one sees it's the door oh my god it's flying it's very un ay 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 talking portuguese again uh it's very oh my god the word i don't know the word i can't recall the word it's very I don't know. I don't like the smoothing on the on the on the on the flying. So we we put all slabs here. This can be covered. And if we had this all covered, you, we won't see anything. And when you power it from the front, which is going, but you would have to run a wire for this side or that side if you want but yeah that's pretty much it sorry if this was dark i will boost up the brightness at post production and this is bugging my ocd and i hope you like it i hope that you thought the the tutorial was easy to understand and give me some feedback rate thumbs up comment and subscribe see you later